So here we are trying to unlock the third ending in Never Ending Nightmares and it is called The Final Descent and apparently it's quite horrible. Um, so to unlock this you need to go back to the um, insane asylum and go out the exit. So all the way at the end of the level we go to the exit. Now instead of going down uh, and jumping down the hole we go back into the asylum. So let's see what happens. Whoa. Ooh. Oh! Now you'll never escape. Huh? What? Honey, go back to sleep. But, uh, why am I in bed with my sister? What are you talking about? I'm your wife. But, I... You don't even have a sister. I... I... I thought... I'm worried about you. Why don't you get a glass of milk to calm your nerves? Okay. Well, that's incredibly messed up. Um, so not only are we in bed with our sister who's our wife, but not our sister, but oh, that bit with the um, her slicing our Achilles tendon open, that is one thing. Now, I watch a lot of horror movies, as you know. And um, I'm not really a big fan of like gore porn, you know, kind of f films like Saw and Hostel and that kind of thing. Um, but um, hmm. um, like that's one thing I really, really hate is like the Achilles tendon getting sliced open. Like they had a horrible bit of that in Hostel, it made me feel really, really ill. Like I don't know what it is about that, but it's just I think it's just because. It's the thing that can just totally ruin you if it actually happened in real life. You just could never walk again. I don't think there's any recovering from that. You just flop like a fish. Ugh. Um, oh, right. What's that sound? Um, so I guess in this one we're married to Gabby. But, you know, she wasn't our sister. She's our... Waifu. I don't. I don't like where this one is going. I do like quite how open to interpretation all these endings are, and um, they fit sort of the horrible, the horrible nature of the whole game. I think. Still feeling incredibly unsettled. And again, this whole, the layout of this house is confusing me. I, I'm getting quite disorientated, and it's changed again, hasn't it? It's, it's completely different again. Tell you actually what my runaway favourite movie at the moment, like spooky movie, but not actually quite that spooky movie, um, at the moment is, and that's uh, Paranorman. Now it's an animated movie done by the same studio, I think Laika, that did um, Coraline, and I'll come back to that thought in a second. Okay, so I've had my milk. I've never understood that the kind of concept of drinking milk to calm you down or as a to kind of help you sleep, but then I guess I'm lactose intolerant, so it wouldn't help me. Why do I think bad things are going to happen? Oh, hello. Okay. So the whole house is changing and distorting. Um, I don't like that. I've, I've been reading a lot of things. Jesus Christ. Thanks, bear jerk. I've been reading a lot of things recently about houses and like as as in horror movies and horror uh, not horror movies horror stories um so house of leaves um house on the haunted hill and one thing i love about them is how the house is the thing that's haunting it's not like something like there are ghosts in there but that's inconsequential it's um the shape of the houses and the kind of uh oh oh no okay let's keep going um Let's keep going back there. I think that's a mad axe murderer, Gabby. But yeah, like, what I love about House of Leaves and House on Haunted Hill is the kind of personality of the houses and the way they're described. But yeah, it's very unsettling to read because the descriptions, both authors, like, the descriptions of the houses are so good and how disjointed and ugly and, and oddly built they are. So lost. I don't like that it's gone all quiet as well now. I love horror movies that have good sound design and games that have good sound design as well. You know, they effectively use kind of silence and 
the absence of sound. PT, the PT demo did it really well. Alien does it really well, especially with tracking the alien. Just hearing, like, all you have to do is have the, a faint suggestion of footsteps or heavy breathing in your right headphone in the distance and your imagination just fills in the gaps. It's brilliant. I actually did a whole module in it when I was a sound engineer, uh, when I was studying sound technology. And um, I did my dissertation actually on film sound and I got to uh, interview a horror, uh, a, oh my God, a sound guy who did horror movies and he said some amazing stuff about psychoacoustics and basically tricking your brain into filling in the gaps by suggest having like suggestive sounds. But yeah, it's definitely something I'm really interested in. Oh, that's not nice. That's not a nice laugh. One thing I don't like about Pyramid Head is how he's become this kind of cult, like, pop culture icon now. You know, when you originally saw him... I'm just gonna... There she is. Once you originally saw him in Silent Hill 2, there was no explanation for him. Oh god, I've run out of breath. Move, move, move. Down the stairs. But now he's sort of turned into the anti-hero. And they totally missed the point of him in the second Silent Hill movie, which by the way is dreadful, don't bother watching it. But yeah, he's sort of like, oh. Well, this is good. Let's just keep walking. <gasps> Oh my Christ, um, wow, okay, hello, is there a door there? I don't want the light to come back on, when's the light gonna come back on? I don't want the light to come back on, don't come back on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I generally had one of those little cold shivers there, you know, when you kind of get a, a little scare and your palms go all sweaty. <laughs> Doesn't help that I'm playing this. Oh. That's not something you ever want to see, is it? Childbirth frightens me enough as it is. Right, is this going to reset or let. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's no way out! There's no way out! Oh! <laughs> Well, that was nasty. Um, Matt Gilgenbach really does like his uh, nasty imagery in this, doesn't he? There's so much kind of... implied... I don't know. It, it's so dark, the way it's going. Things like about childbirth and... You know, falling in love with your sister, maybe, breaking a taboo, and... Is this going to be your final descent? It seems like it is, because we're going down and everything's falling into disrepair. It's all getting darker, and we're outside now. Back into the woods, because they had happy memories. I wonder what we'll find out here to... no. Oh. Hmm. They, this definitely is the darker ending, isn't it? Oh look, she's closer. Oh god. I think this, out, out of the three endings, this is definitely the most disturbed one. It's funny how I unlocked the kind of, I guess, nicest ending first, um, Wayward Dreamer. And now it's just going full on violence and nastiness. Abandon hope. 
all ye who enter here. So we're back in the house again. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go in any of the side doors. I think they're just gonna lead to just diversions and distractions. I'm just gonna keep going to the ending. It does seem like everything is falling apart now. Wow, everything's starting to blend in now, isn't it? Oh, that's nice. Matt Gilgenbach's wife, I'm guessing? <laughs> what a romantic thing to do. Hey, wifey. Let me put you in the game as a tombstone. <laughs> Mind you, I'd do it. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God, her arm bones are broken. That was uncalled for. What next? Okay. I really don't like the detail on the arm bones. I bet this is going to be safe. Oh my god. This this is getting nasty. This is getting really, really nasty. What horrors await for us now? I wonder if the little dolls are going to start getting up and dancing for us yet. I really don't like that kind of gaming mechanic they've put in here of how um, our man here can't run, like it's he's quite asthmatic and basically can't run and even when he does run he just sounds so nasty, it just really kind of adds to that tension. Further down into the madness. one of my favourite horror games ever and it's a game called Eternal Darkness that came out on the GameCube. Absolutely loved it. What it had is it it had a sanity meter and certain monsters that grow, glowed green when they got anywhere near you would sap your san sanity meter and um yay and as you went more and more insane the game <laughs> would change um, to kind of really mess with you. So do some fourth wall breaking things like um, ending the game and going, thank you for buying this demo or crashing the whole game. Or I think the worst one for me, everything's a lie still. Um, the worst one for me was that it started turning the volume down. So it came up with like a green volume bar and the volume of the whole game went down. And like, I genuinely had a moment where I looked at the remote control next to me and I was like, what? And that really freaked me out. It took me a while. Ooh, run, 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 He's getting on me, he's getting on me. Ooh, ooh, that was close. But yeah, it took me a while to realize it was the game doing it to me. Oh, it was nasty. It was such a good game. Absolutely brilliant. The story was really good as well, like kind of spanning the ages. A bit Lovecraft inspired. Love a bit of Lovecraft. So yeah, although my favourite Lovecraft story isn't uh, one of the more obvious like Cthulhu ones, it's um, probably Colour Out of Space, which is probably one of Lovecraft's more coherent, oh look, there's a nice bit of viscera down there, um, stories. And um, it works because it starts out normal enough, but then just starts getting odder and odder and odder. And I don't really want to say too much more about it, but I... I definitely recommend it. It's very, very good. So, colour, the colour from outer space, I think it's called. Oh, I love all the bits of entrail everywhere. Looks a bit like pork loin. Mmm. I like cooking with pork loin. Very nice with a honey mustard crust. Oh, great. Um, can I pick up the teddy? Hello, Teddy. 
Can I not take the teddy with me? I'd quite like to take the teddy with me. He looks significant. I'd also quite like something to hug round about now. I don't want to look at the Halloween doll over there. Oof. Hmm. Oh, yay! Someone's been having fun in this room! Just the... Okay, let's see if we can just get past her. It's a charming individual. Um... Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, horrible little doll's arms. Oh, this is horrible. This is the stuff nightmares are from. Are we gonna fall? Oh, look, there's a... Yep. Well. It's certainly getting a lot darker by the second, isn't it? Mmm, entrails. Nice use of colour, though. Oh, there's a rib cage down there. Um... More entrails. I don't really know where to go in this. It just seems to be endless. Like some kind of never ending nightmare. Oh, thank you. Oh, great. Oh, God. Oh, it's a bit like the evil within. Depths. I wonder what this is going to be like now since it's zoomed out. Is it going to be a never-ending staircase down into hell? They had one of those in Silent Hill too, towards the end. You just went down this staircase that just seemed to never, ever, ever end. To the point where you start questioning yourself and going, Am I meant is, uh, Am I supposed to be doing this? But yeah, very effective. God, I love Silent Hill too. And I'm so excited for Silent Hills. It seems like Konami have really reclaimed their IP. Oh look. It looks like we're going into hell. Um What? Um Dear Thomas. I'm leaving you. I'm sorry. You can't talk me out of it. I still love you, but I just can't be with you anymore. Losing our daughter was hard on me, too, yet I'm trying to move on. Your life didn't end, so why can't you live it? I hope you can get past this tragedy eventually, I really do. I guess this is goodbye. Love, Gabrielle. <laughs> Now, I quite like that ending, because that explained a lot, I thought. Because that matches a lot of the kind of imagery we've seen of broken dolls and babies and that awful image of Gabby on the um, birthing table. I don't know what the special term for that is. Yeah, images of suicide and things like that. So yeah, I quite like that ending, even though that was definitely the darker of the three endings. Um, so yeah, gosh, I'm not quite sure how to feel about that. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me on Never Ending Nightmares. I hope you've had a very good Halloween. And I will be doing other things like The Last Door. Hannah and I are doing The Evil Within. And of course, there's Alien Isolation ever going. But thank you very much for joining me on Never Ending Nightmares. If you want to know more about the game, there is information in the video description below. As for now, see you guys next time.